This right over here is an image from an exercise on Khan Academy. And it says, compare using greater than, less than, or equal to. And on the left, we have 1 4 times 5,000. And we want to compare that to 5,000. On Khan Academy, you would click on this drop down and you would pick greater than, less than, or equal to. So what do you think it is? How does 1 4 times 5,000 compare to 5,000? And how do you know your answer is correct? Pick one of these choices as well. Pause the video and have a go at that. Well, one way to think about it, if I'm multiplying 5,000 times some value, that value is going to scale 5,000. It's going to make it smaller or bigger, or in certain cases, might not change the size at all. In fact, the ones where you don't change 5,000 was you multiply it by 1. So 1 times 5,000 is equal to 5,000. But what do you think is going to happen when you multiply a value that is between 0 and 1 times 5,000? Is that going to be greater than? equal to or less than 5,000. Well, one way to imagine it is on a number line. If this is 0, this is 5,000. This would be halfway between 0 and 5,000. And if I then make it the space between 0 and 5,000 into fourths, this would be 1 fourth of the way between 0 and 5,000. So this value right over here, that is 1 fourth times 5,000. Well, how does this value, 1 fourth times 5,000, compare to this value, to 5,000. Well, it's clear that 1 fourth times 5,000 is less than, is less than 5,000. And in general, if the value is between 0 and 1 that you're multiplying by something else, it's going to make the thing you're multiplying smaller. If this were 1, it's not going to change the value. And if this were greater than 1, it would make it larger. So let's see these choices. Because we are multiplying 5,000 by a fraction that is less than 1. Yeah, that's exactly what's happening. We're multiplying 5,000 by 1 fourth. So it's going to give us a smaller value than 5,000. I like that choice. Let's just read these other ones. Because we're multiplying 5,000 by a fraction that is equal to 1. Well, no, we, we clear, 1 fourth is clearly not equal to 1, so we rule that one out because we're multiplying 5,000 by a fraction that is greater than 1. Well, 1 fourth is clearly not greater than 1, so we rule that out as well. Let's do another example. So here we're asked, is the product of each expression less than, equal to, or greater than 49? So pause this video and try to figure it out. All right, so this first one is 49 times 7 eighths. So what do you think that's going to be? Well, 7 eighths is less than 1. So if I multiply 49 times something less than 1, I'm going to get a value that is less than 49. So I like that choice right over there. 49 times 5 halves. Well, 5 halves is greater than 1. Remember, 2 halves would be equal to 1. So 5 halves is greater than 1. So if I'm multiplying 49 by a value that is greater than 1, I'm going to get a value that is greater than 49. And then last but not least, 49 times 3 thirds. Well, 3 thirds is exactly equal to 1. So 49 times 1 is going to be exactly equal to 49. And we're done.